Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO review from Brick by Brick, and I guess today this isn't really a set, but we're going to take a quick look through this LEGO minifigure of visual history um, book, and also at the Orange Spaceman exclusive minifigure that is included, which um, is the reason that I was going to get this. I actually didn't end up having to buy it, because I did get this for Christmas, which was cool, I guess. And retail price on this is $40, I think it actually shows that on the back, right? Yeah, $40 USA and $50 Canadian, but uh, this has been available pretty consistently at Target for $31.99, and for a while at least, I think it's still available at that price. If it is, there will be a link in the description, a referral link that will support the channel, um, uh, and I guess I'll put it there regardless, but it was $27.99 for a while at least, and hopefully it will be by the time this video is uploaded, but I guess they could change it at any point. And to act as the minifigure... Um, all you do is open this up, I already cut the tape at the bottom, and he will just fall right out, uh, I guess. Um, but, nice orange pages on the server, um, and we will look at this guy in a minute, but first I just wanted to take a quick look at the way that this book is set up. You know, got Mr. Gold right in front and center. Uh, I don't actually know who that is, though, because it's not a CMF, because I'm not buying it. Uh, but, yeah, basically it's just a look at minifigures from the, you know, all different eras. So, starting with 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s, 2020s. Um, and, you know, starts um, with the creation of the minifigure and defines what a minifigure is and how it's made. And then we just get into a little timeline of how many figures have evolved a little bit. Um, and kind of continues showing the first, you know, some milestones, like the first light-up minifigures. Uh, I believe that this is the, uh, you know, uh, I guess they have a uh, little blurb there as well as just showing some minifigures from each year. Uh, I got Dimensions down there, the minifigure baby, and first two-header minifigure in 2020, and then it starts with the 1970s. And I'm not going to show all of these pages, but you know, it just shows a bunch of minifigures, tells you a little bit about them. And there was a very short page on the uh, 70s, and you'll see from the top up here, uh, the, I guess you can't quite see that, but uh, if we look up at the top, the edges um, kind of line up with the decades, you can kind of flip quickly to a specific decade, so now if we look at the 90s, um, you know, that's when Star Wars starts, got some space stuff, pirates, etc. You know, there's nothing super duper, uh, like, I think kids would probably enjoy looking through all the minifigures in this, and, you know, the photos are pretty cool, and there is some decent information in there, it's just that a lot of this is easily accessible on the internet, so... You can find it yourself um, decently easy without this book, but you know, it's not a bad thing to exist. Uh, moving into Star Wars, Racers, and then on to the 2010s, which by far has the largest uh, section of the book. Uh, ooh, Hobbit. Um, 2014. I guess they kind of go by year um, in the later decades. Uh, we got Dimensions, uh, some Minecraft, Star Wars, Disney. Uh -oh, yeah, good mini figure right there. Uh, oh, they have Lester in here. Interesting. And then it just kind of keeps going and going. Talks about rare mini figures. Let's see. Oh, we got some Comic Con stuff. And the wooden mini figure. Yep, yeah, that's a that's a rare mini figure. Um, very desirable, I guess. Even though nobody wants to buy it. Uh, yeah, just keep going until we just. Might as well flip through all the way to the end at this point. Uh, so Jurassic World. Um, and 2020s. Okay, so this is just going to have... It's kind of... I don't know if I... Maybe it would have been better if they just didn't include 2020, because you might as well stop it at the complete 2010s. But they do have this guy in here, because he came out in 2020, and then we have an index in the back. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's... You know, some decent-ish stuff inside here. But I do think that the big highlight is that Orange Spaceman. And here we are with the Orange Spaceman minifigure. They didn't give this one a name, uh, unlike the ones from Benny Space Squad. But, let's see, those were Kenny, uh, Lenny, and Jenny and Penny, I think. So, hmm, I don't know what names are... Or, no, that's, that's more names that are possible. But I don't think they've named one Denny, so I guess we can call this guy Denny, uh, the Orange Spaceman. And, uh, yeah, um, uh, it's basically exactly what you'd expect. He uses the new modern style of classic space helmet, uh, which is good, and it's nice to get that molded in orange. And the air tanks are also new in, uh, orange. He does come pre-assembled, so you can disassemble him himself, uh, 
you can disassemble them yourself, I should say. Uh, obviously, as you would expect. And, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, perfectly good minifigure and cool to add another Spaceman color to the collection. Now, the book is definitely very overpriced for just a minifigure. So if that's all you want, hmm, you know, it's kind of, kind of a lot to ask, but... It is a cool minifigure, so we, I don't think you'll be disappointed if you do get it. It's just a question of how much is this figure worth it to you. And uh, he does sell for a good $25 at least on eBay or BrickLink. So, you know, at that point, especially if you can still get it for $28, I would recommend just buying the whole book. But this is a cool figure, and I'm happy to add it to my collection. And, you know, if this is how they're going to have to release Classic Spaceman in more colors, then, you know, it'll be a little bit pricey, but I'm kind of okay with it. Just if, you know, it means that we get more Classic Spaceman colors, then, you know, I'm I'm for it. It'll obviously be one of the more expensive ones, long term, probably. But, well, unless they re-release it, obviously. But, you know, it's, it's cool to get, and I think orange was a pretty good color to go with. Um... I would still like to see them redo the green classic spaceman uh, with the new modern helmet, but, you know, and I guess they could do a gray version of the helmet too so we can make those colors for real, but, you know, it's, these are it's a good figure, I think, and I'm happy to get it. The book itself doesn't add too much value for me, but I think that it's decently made for what it is. I'm sure there are probably plenty of inaccuracies in there that you could point out if you, uh, you know, we actually read through all of it. I haven't, you know, gone through looking specifically for errors, but I'm sure that they have some there because most of these DK books do have some amount of errors. Uh, but you know, it's it's kind of a nice thing, and I think that kids especially will appreciate just being able to take a book and scroll through and look at many figures. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this uh, little uh, sort of review, um, I guess it's kind of a review, but not of a set book review. Uh, so I'm a book critic now, I guess. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone.